tonight, live from the Morocco Theater, ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation presents Himig Handog Sabayaning Filipino.
maging isang bayani. Please welcome composer Alan Palisano and lyricist Seth Dado with interpreter Cookie Chua. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big thank you to Pops Fernandez, Chris Villonco, the noisy neighbors, and our 10 finalists in the Himig Handog sa Bayani Pilipino. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Nang mabuo ang malayang bansa na kung tawagin ay Pilipinas, kumanta tayo ng lupang hinirang. Nang mabiyak ang iyong puso, lumuha ka sa sana maulit muli. Nang magkita-kita tayo sa EDSA, kumanta tayo ng magkaisa. Nang yumao ang mga minamahal natin sa buhay, ipinadala natin ang hindi kita malilimutan. Nung namiss na natin ang ating mga kaibigan, nakinig tayo ng awit ng barkada. At noong nabad trip tayo sa pag-ibig, sumabay tayo sa pare ko. Dala ng buhay ang musika. Kasabay nito ang bawat tibok ng bawat pusong Pilipino. Narito ang ating kwento, ang ating mga panaginip, ang ating mga hinanakit, at ngayong gabi ang ating paghahanap sa isang bagong Pilipino, sa isang bagong bayani. Nakilala na natin siya noon sa mga pangalan Lapu-Lapu, Jose, Andres, Apolinario, at Ninoy. 
Ngayong gabi, hahanapin natin siya sa pangalang Juan. Juan de la Cruz. Nandito siya sa likod mo, sa harap mo, sa tabi mo, o sa loob mo. Makikita mo siya. At ngayong gabi, aawitan, sasayawan, at hahandugan. Itong gabi, ang aming alay sa iyo, Juan de la Cruz. Ito ang himig handog sa Bayaning Pilipino. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation, Mr. Eugenio Lopez III. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the grand finals of the Himig Handog Songwriting Competition, the first truly multimedia song fest in the country. My father, together with Father Nilo Tanalega, first organized the Bayaning Filipino Awards in 1995. It was their belief that the Bayani of today is an ordinary person doing extraordinary things. It is a sad fact of today's society that to survive, to feed your family, sometimes one is compelled to extraordinary action. The Bayani Awards were conceptualized to honor these living examples of today's Filipino Bayani. The Himigandog Songwriting Contest was conceived to take my father's vision one step further. For what better way is there to honor these modern day heroes than to provide them food for the soul? ABS-CBN is proud to be associated with this endeavor. We hope that as you listen to these songs, it inspires you to scale greater heights. In spite of all the tragedy that the Filipino has endured, he has persevered, his spirit unbroken. Tonight, we honor him and we pay him homage to his indelible spirit, ang bayani, ordinary people doing extraordinary things. A buhay ang Filipino, and good night. Thank you very much, Mr. Lopez. Tonight's competition is a first in many ways. Aside from being the first truly multimedia songwriting competition in Philippine television history, it is also the first competition to go fully interactive. There is no second prize, no third. Instead, in its place, there are choice awards, such as the Youth's Choice Award, voted via balloting through the Star Studio magazine, the OFW's Choice Award, voted over the internet through abs-cbn.com, and finally, the People's Choice Award voted over the phone via DWRR, DZMM, and all other regional AM and FM radio stations of ABS-CBN throughout the country. If music is power, then tonight we give the power to the people. Tonight is their, is their night, and tonight's winners will be their choice. As for the grand prize, the song which will become the theme song of, Bay of the Bayaning Pilipino Awards to be held in November of this year, the criteria are as follows. 30% for harmony or the quality of the tune, its melody and rhythm, 30% for lyrics or the arrangement of words and ideas in their composition, and 40% for overall impact or the music treatment, performance, the radio friendliness and the breakthrough qualities of the composition. That's right. And so with that, Chris, shall we begin? <laughs> we would just like to remind our TV audience that at the start of each song, we will show the pre-final score of each entry. The pre-finals judging was held a couple of weeks before the competition, and the average score will make for 30% of the total average that the entries will register tonight. Diba? <laughs> kaya kaya mga nasa bahay, kunin ang ballpen at papel. Lista ang mga scores at hulaan nyo kung sino ang mananalo. Kasali kayo dito sa ating selebrasyon, sa ating paghahandog. Ako excited na ako, Chris. Ako na rin. Kailangan simulan na natin, di ba? Ang first entry natin ay umawit siya sa harap ng mahigit sa 10,000 OFW sa Hong Kong. Isang karanasang nagbago sa kanyang buhay. Nakita niya ang lungkot ng isang buhay na hiwalay sa mga minamahal. Sa gitna ni ito, uh, nangarap siya at ang pangarap niya na yon ay naging isang awit. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arnel Depano. Ang pangarap ko sana for the Filipinos, yung hindi na sila kailangan umalis pa ng bayan para uh, to provide for their family, uh, para matustusan yung pag-aaral ng mga anak. Uh, sana uh, we can provide for ourselves right here. 
At narito na po ang kantang lipad ng pangarap ng composer lyricist Arnel Depano, interpreted by the original Divet Dessa. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Desa, para sa kantang lipad ng pangarap. Ano nga ba ang kahanga-hanga sa Pilipino? Ano nga ba ang Super Pinoy? At sino siya? Siya ba'y tinatabla ng bala? Lumilipad? Alamin nga natin. Our next finalist is the composer of Gary Valenciano's Hataw na Ensayawe Ang Sayaw. He has had a string of other hits with Regine Velasquez, Jaya, Sharon Cuneta, and many others. The winner of several songwriting awards such as the Asia Song Festival and Manila Musica International, Mr. Junji Marcelo.
Super Pinoy ng buhay ko. Dapat Pinoy. Kung Pinoy, siguro yung tatay ko. He could actually, you know, make you smile in, in spite of his pain and everything. Amidst calamity, natawanan pa, hinihingitian pa. Tapos mag adjust Tapos ayun, nakakop up na. Very Filipino talaga. At ngayon, narito para sa inyo ang kantang Super Pinoy ni composer and lyricist Junji Marcelo. Nakakantahin ang isa sa mga batang superstars ngayon. Kasama ang quarter to five, ladies and gentlemen, si Miss Jolina Magdangal. together with quarter to five for the song Super Pinoy. It has often been said that life is a test, that every day is a question we must answer. And the true hero is not the one who seeks the answer, but the one who goes beyond the question to see life as it can be. Beautiful. 
She is the composer of the 1995 World Youth Day theme, Tell the World of His Love the first Asian to win a top prize at the USA Songwriting Competition, where she won second prize. She has composed hits for Sharon Conetta, Regine Velasquez, Gary Valenciano, Joey Albert, and many others. Ms. China Belamide. Para sa yo is a song for the people we admire, the mga taong gusto nating tularan, the mga taong hinahangaan natin, the people um, who have been through so much in life and uh, have been able to to transcend. <laughs> and so here with the song Para Sayo by composer and lyricist Gina Belamide, one of the newest stars of Philippine musical theater, Diane De La Fuente, together with the Bataoke Kids and the Play Shop Babies.
bata o okay, kids at ang play shop babies at ang kanilang kantang para sa yo. Can you imagine pangatlo pa lang po yung kanta? Pero I'm sure nahihirapan na po kayo dahil napakagaling hindi lamang po na mga kanta kundi yung mga performers rin. Alam niyo po ang isang pagkakataon ay nagiging larawan dahil hindi ito makakalimutan. Dahil ito'y babalik-balikan, mamahalin at dadalhin kahit saan. Ano ngayon kaya ang larawan ng pusong Pinoy? At ano rin naman kaya ang larawan ng isang bayani? Tanungin natin ang composer ng mga awit ni Basil Valdez, Sharon Coneta at marami pang iba si Mr. Doji Simon. My dad left when I was 14 and so my mom had to take care of us. And I guess uh, that's a very uh, clear picture of a hero for me. Larawan ng isang parent uh, taking care of, of her child, no? And uh, uh, sacrificing in, in order for, for the child to have a better life than, than what they had. Ito na ang kantang larawan ng composer at lyricist Doji Simon nakakantay ng isa sa mga bagong belter sa bansa, si Miss Anna Feji at ang His Sounds. Palipad sa Singapore Kung saan ang mamasuka Nang mapaara si amor Tangan niya'y limang larawan Nang maliligayang panahon Taladala'y pangungulila Sa taraang mga taon Ngunit buo ang kalooban Harapin ang kalooban Nang ang pangarap ay makanta Malayo man sa iyong tingin Ang araw mong hinihintay Ang bukas mo ay narating At di nang bago mong buhay Magkakamit ang kalayaan Mula sa karukhaan Si amor Sa pagtsatsaga at pagsusumi ka Siya'y isang ganap ngayong tuko Ulat sa kahirapan Kapos mo lahat ang musmusan Ang plako sa may lansangan Ang pag-aara ay matustusan
Maraming salamat, Ana Peji, kasama ang His Sounds para sa kantang larawan. Paano naman hindi mahirapan ang judges natin? Napaka ilang beses na natin narinig na magaling ang Pilipino. Ilang ulit na natin narinig na ang Pilipino ay matapat, marangal, at marami pang ibang bagay. Ngunit kung ikaw ang tatanungin, sino ang magaling para sa'yo? Sino ang sasagot mo? At bakit? Ang susunod nating composer ay muntik ng di umabot ngayong gabi. Binahasa nung last day ng submission of entries dahil naisipan lang niya sumali nung halos patapos na ang pagtanggap ng mga komposisyon. Siguro nga kung magaling ka, talagang mangyayari ang nararapat. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Santa Maria. Basta maayos yung ginagawa sa, sa sarili niya at sa kapwa. Sabi kong ang galing, ng Pili ang galing niya. Pinakamagaling na Pilipino para sa akin ay ang mother ko. Siyang nagtatag sa amin, ang, nag, uh, gumubay sa amin mula ng pagkabata kami. Uh, mula nang mawala yung father ko, siya yung ano sa amin. Tumulong hanggang ngayon. At narito para witi ng kantang Ang Galing Mo ni composer and lyricist Eric Santa Maria kasama ang 92 AD, ang isa sa mga miyembro ng The Company, ladies and gentlemen, Ruben Laurente. Sa pagsisikap ang karagal ay natangga Ang kingkatalinuhan, minis ng kalooban Sa pagsisikap natutunan ng lahat Ang galing-galing bayaning Pilipino Handang lumaban sa hapon will be flying all over our heads. But what is a hero? Do the times define heroism for the people? Or do the people define the times? 
If yesterday heroism was blood red with the blood of those who died in the name of freedom, what is the color of heroism today? Our next composer is one of the pioneers of 90s Pinoy rock, a member of modern day rock icons Rizal Underground, Mr. Michael Villegas. What's it take to be a hero? It's not hirap actually these days. Eh? It's not because it's a fruitful economy, you know, uh, that we're like this. It's not because we're complacent of other people's feelings. I think it's because um, the times are so hard that we're always on the lookout for, for number one. Medyo sarisarili muna. are to sing the song Bayani by composer and lyricist Michael Villegas, one of the Tux founding members Zebedee Zuniga, one of the best ethnic folk singers today, Bayang Barrios, and one of theater's youngest stars, Catrice Gavino. <laughs> Tabato, daliri sa gatilyo ng mahaba ko pasan, tinalo ko ang kapwa ko sa dalong pagod at puyat sa minadaling ang higaan, pinuklat ko at ibinasa ang mga jalyo ng Maynila, nagpasalamat sa pinaglaban ko ngayon. Keep on running. 
Thank you, Zebedee Zuniga, Bayang Barrios, and Catrice Gavino and their song, Bayani. You know, this is really such a beautiful way to actually entice a lot of our young composers in this country, which I know we have a lot of, to write beautiful songs like this. Lately kasi po, kung napapansin nyo, lalong-lalo na po sa radio, on the airwaves, parati po nating naririnig ang mga revivals. At hindi po nabibigyan ng chance ang mga composers po natin dito sa ating bansa to create beautiful songs such as the songs we've, we've been hearing tonight. And uh, like we mentioned earlier, uh, this is the first Himig Handog sa Bayani Awards. And hopefully, we will be having more awards in the future. Hopefully, next year, this will happen again. Um, is that possible? Is it possible for it to happen again? I guess if you guys, because we have the Choice Awards and uh, we make you guys participate by requesting, you just got to request so we will keep having uh, awards like this and songwriting contests like this. Do you agree with me? I think so. You know, Filipinos are truly very musically talented, and I think this is the best way to show how talented we are. For our next composer, tonight is his Baptism of Fire. Uh, he is the only composer to make it to tonight's competition, and at the age of 22, he is also the youngest composer in our list. He has won several songwriting awards at the Dulaang Sibol, the drama group of the Ateneo High School. Tonight is his last night as an amateur and his first as a professional songwriter. Mr. Toto Soryoso. Una, hindi ako makapaniwala kasi tapos, after thinking about it, nahirapan ako makatulog. Ako, ikaw tayo, it's about brotherhood. It's about unity about being interconnected, uh, it's about uh, helping each other. And so with today's hottest new balladeer singer Jimmy Bondock and the Essence Band's band, we bring to you composer and lyricist Tonto Soriozzo's first professional composition, the song Ako Ikaw Tayo.
Sino ang mag-aalaga Sa kalikas ang kinagahasan Sino ang magtsa-tsaga Sa bayan nating puno ng luha Huwag na bahala na Huwag na nga ang aanga Sino ang mag-aalaga Yan po ang kauna-una ang profesional na komposisyon mula kay Toto Suryosong. Awit na Ako, Ikaw, Tayo, na in-interpret ni Jimmy Bondok na kasamang Essence Band. Saan pa naman kayo makakita ng ganyan dito? Ang gagaling na nga ng kompositor, ang gagaling pa ng mga performer. I do not envy the job of the judges this evening and the night is far from over. So if you're at home, I hope you're keeping a tally so we can compare your scores with the scores of our judges this evening. And don't forget, the, the, the scores that you're seeing on your screens are the 30%, which uh, will compose 30% of the final score. And these were taken from the pre-finals judging. So, ang composer lyricist ng susunod nating entry ngayong gabi ay hinarap ng maraming tanong. Para kanino nga ba ang kabayanihan? Paano nga ba ito maaabot? At sino ang mga ninalang na makakaabot nito? Karaniwang mga tanong na manarian lang siguro sa diwa ng bawat tao. Ngunit sino ang tanging sasagot ng mga katanungan ito? Dalawa sila nangarap, isang gumagawa ng mga commercial jingles at isang broadcaster sa radio television. Dalawa sila ng tanong at iisa ang kanilang naging sagot. Handog namin sa inyo ngayong gabi si Mr. Alan Feliciano at si Mrs. Datu. Ngayon, madali na mag isang bayan. Oo. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, ikaw muna. Ready to start. <laughs> mag isang bayani kahit na karaniwang tao ka, kahit na isang simpleng mag nanay ka, kahit na isa kang pulis, tindera, yaya, pwede ka mag isang bayani. As long as you have a big heart. As long as you have a big heart. At ngayon, alay namin sa inyo ang kantang maging isang bayani ni composer Alan Feliciano at lyricist Cesc Datu na awitin ang lead singer ng isa sa mga pinakasikat na banda, banda sa Pilipinas, ang Colored Red. Narito po si Miss Cookie Chua. Madalas kong tanhin Sa kisig ba't talino Pagdanak ng dugo Mga kilala kong bayani Lahat na kahimlay Mayroon kayang bayaning Sa ngayon ay nabubuhay Isang hinang lumaya Tungong ibang mansa Manas ng hirap, matinding pag-iisa Kanyang naging gabay, pag-ibig sa pamilya Di ba't tulad niya ang matatawag na dakila Karaniwang tao, pambihirang puso Kanya kanyang galing May angking kabayanihan Ang bawat isa Di man napupuna Dakila rin pala Kising na kabayan Ba't di natin subukan Huwag lang maging saksi 
sarili handang talikuran Pagkulin ang sundalo sa ati walang halaga Ngunit di ba siya ay karapat dapat na dakila Sa labas ng tahanan may tumatayong magulang Kanyang pinubunan pagkakulang ng lipunan Binibigyang halaga kapakanan ng mga bata Di ba't ang buro'y maituturing ding dakila Kukichua para sa kantang Maging Isang Bayani. Ang susunod nating composer ay masasabing isa sa mga naghubog sa alternatibong musika ng Pilipino. Mula pa noong 1982, siya'y tumutugtog na sa mga folk houses at mga music lounges sa buong kamay nilaan. Miyembro ng progressive movement, naging mainstream din siya at lumikha ng mga awit para kina Agot Isidro, Rani Santiago at Cesar Montano. Tinawid niya ang kabuuan ng musika mula alternatibo hanggang pop mula sa kanyang pagiging musical score ng ilang mga short films hanggang sa kanyang paglikha ng mga commercial jingles. Nararapat lamang na siya ang tanungin kung sino nga ba ang bayani ngayon. Mga kaibigan, si Mr. Noel Cabangon. Ang bayani natin ngayon ay mga buhay na uh, nagbibigay ng maliit na ambag na contribution. Sila yung may integrity. Sila yung uh, hindi corrupt. Uh, sila yung merong paninindigan. At saka yung may paggalang talaga sa kapwa. At narito po para awitin ang Ikaw ay Bayani ng composer at lyricist na si Noel Cabangon, ang isa sa mga pinakatanyag na vocal group sa bansa ngayon. Ang Three of a Kind. Ikaw na naglilinang ng kasaganahan Ikaw na nagpapanday ng kaunlaran Ikaw na humuhubog ng karunungan Gawa sa ibang bayan Ikaw na nagbibigay lunas Sa may kapansanan Ikaw na dumadakila Sa kabataan Ikaw na kumakandili Sa nangangailangan ng ating bayan Ikaw ay bayani Tunay kang dakila Ikaw ay pinagpala Bayani ng bansa Ikaw ay kapuri-puri Mabuhay ka 
Ikaw ay bayani. Alam niyo po, may kwento ang susunod nating awit tungkol sa isang tao, tungkol sa maraming tao. Sino kaya siya? May dalawang naghanap sa kanya at dalawa silang nakakita. Ngayon po, dalawa silang magkukwento. Pakinggan natin ang isang multi-awarded na composer, ang grand prize winner ng The Sal Awit Competition para sa kanyang awit na Shine On Me at ang lumikha ng mga kanta ni na Rayanne Fuentes, Basil Valdez, Carlo Orosa, Jamie Rivera at Side A. Mr. Sok Villanueva together with lyricist Arnel Depano. Ikaw, siya, ako, kayo. Hindi kailangan na super natural or super, super yung talento. Basta may integrity, uh, honesty. So, yun si Kabayani. Pilipino yun si Kabayani. Kayo. Sila. At para awitin ang kantang si Kabayani ni composer Sok Villanueva and lyricist Arnel Depano, narito ngayon ang isa sa mga pinakil pinakakilalang mga awit sa bansa, si Mr. Gary Granada! Si Katamaran ay ayaw nang gumalaw Si Kaduwagan Ay ayaw nang sumigaw Si Kalokohan Ay ayaw nang tuminom Si Kabayani Di ganyan o bayan ko Si Kasipagan Ang kaniyang kalang kamay Si Katapangan Ang lakas Si kabutihan sa ganyan nararapa Si kabayani ang tularan ng lahat Kayang kaya, kaya di kabayani Kayang kaya, kaya di kabayani Kahit saan, kahit sino ka Biyak niya ay lubos na matapat Sa kapamilya ay katuwang sa pagkanan Sa 
kababayan ay salhinang tagumpay Si kabayani ay sadyang walang kabantay Kayang kaya kayani kabayani Kayang kaya kayani kabayani Kahit saan, kahit sino, kahit kailan, kahit paano Kayang kaya kayani kabayani Kahit ipit ay lulusot, kahit lugmok ay aahot kahit bagsak ay tatayo At kung mali magbabago Kahit kulang ay pupunan Kahit api ay lalabang Kahit walang, walang, walang Ay gagawan na parang Kayang kaya, kaya di ka bayani Kayang kaya, kaya di ka bayani Kahit sa Gary Granada po with a song, Si Kabayani. At dito po nagtatapos ang paghahanap natin. Narinig na natin ang mga himig, ang mga hando. Ngayon, mamili na tayo ng isang bagong awit para sa bagong bayaning Pilipino. Malapit na malapit na, Mari. Pero bagong lahat, kilalanin natin ang Board of Judges para sa gabi nito. Nais lang po natin ipaalala na ang mga scores na itatala ng mga judges ngayong gabi ay 70% lamang ng total score ng bawat entry. Ang 30% ay kukunin mula sa pre-final scores na nakita ng ating viewing audience sa kanilang mga TV screens sa simula ng bawat awit. That's right. But before we introduce to you our Board of Judges, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the Sisip Gores and Velayo Auditing Firm to ensure the confidentiality and the credibility of all the awards that will be given tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, we present to you our Board of Judges for this evening. We start off with uh, somebody who I know very well. He is a singer, composer, painter, photographer, artist, and more. A member uh, of the one and the only Apo Hiking Society. I guess you kind of know, right? Aside from their countless string of hits from Awit ng Barkada to Pumapatak na naman ang ulan, he has also been blessed with a successful solo career, composing such hits as Nakap Makapagtataka, Batang Bata Ka Pa, Handog ng Pilipino sa Mundo, and many others. Actually, this guy should also be called a Bayani. A living Bayani. <laughs> a living bayani. Yes, why? Why why do I say that? Because dapat lang po kasi hindi pa ho ako pinapanganak, sikat na sikat na po sila. Please welcome Mr. Jim Paredes. <laughs> Nandun yata sa likod, nakaparada ang kanilang mga ano. Parang di yata siya ngumiti. <laughs> Hindi yata siya na happy nung inintroduce ko siya. National artist for music, she is the artistic and musical director of the world-famous UP Madrigal Singers. Let us all welcome the Honorable Andrea Veneracion. The President and CEO of the Santiago Puno Advertising, Mr. Jimmy Santiago. Singer, composer, and member of the band that started the underground scene that defined Pinoy alternative music today, please welcome Mr. Eli Buendia of the Eraserheads. Bituwing walang ningning, sanay wala na wakas, never say goodbye. These are just some of his hits. His range spans from the best of Pinoy jukebox to some of the best movie theme songs ever heard in Philippine, Philippine cinema. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Willie Cruz. The executive director of the Ugat Foundation, he, together with the late Capitan Mr. Henny Lopez, pioneered the Bayaning Pilipino Awards. Please welcome Father Nilo Tanalega. 
The secretary of the board of directors of Pillscap, she's a composer, a talent manager, a recording producer, the general manager of M-Boom Trading, and the managing director of Empire Records. Please welcome Miss Emmy Domingo. One of the youngest musical directors ever, he recently did their playing our song, which starred his sister, Lea Salonga. Let's all welcome Mr. Gerard Salonga. A star started ng judges. The president of one of the country's leading newspapers, please welcome is Sandy Prieto Romualdez of the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Ay, ito talaga, star-studded talaga tayo, promise. Because our next judge is the executive vice president and head of the ABS-CBN Entertainment Group. Please welcome Ms. Charo Santos Concho. The President and Chief Operating Officer of the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation, please welcome Mr. Federico M. Garcia. The Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eugenio Lopez III. And finally, the Chairman of the Board of Judges. A musical genius, he is one of Asia's finest songwriters as he has composed countless and timeless hits such as Nais Ko, Tuwing Umuulan at Kapiling Ka at Kaingada ng Ating Musika. Also one of the country's top musical directors with such classic Filipino musicals as Larawan, Ramahari, Katie, and Alikabok. Please welcome Mr. Ryan Kayabyab. And now, ladies and gentlemen, just as the judges are making their decisions as to who will win tonight's grand prize, we would like to tell you a story. A story of a dream, how it began and where it took us. The dream was not easy to fulfill. Turning it into reality was nearly impossible. But of course, everything is possible. We gotta watch this. Nagsimula sa isang tao, sa isang munting parangal sa mga individual. Sa lahat po nang nagtiwala sa aking munting kakayahan. Nalagin po ay gi-offer ko sa Lord. Pamilya at institusyon na nagtataguyod ng kabutihan sa kapwa-tao, sa komunidad, sa bansa, hanggang may namuong panaginip. isang engranding selebrasyong gamit ang pinakamakabagong teknolohiya ng telebisyon, radyo, print, at internet. Isang kompetisyon ng mga awit na magbibigay ng bagong anyo ng bayani. Ang anyo ng bawat Pilipino. Ng bawat taong nagmamahal sa kapwa, sa pamilya, sa bansa. Nabuo na minsay, ipinadala Paano nga bang maging bayan? There's so many meanings to bayan. Anyone can be a hero. Tanyo sa kantang sabit nyo. Baka kayo pang makiling winning entry, winning handog sa bayaning Pilipino. At isinagot ng buong bansa, mahigit sa isang libong awit, pinakinggan, pinagpilian. Ang isang libo'y naging sampu, inilabas, pinarinig. Ang maging isang bayan, isa po ang isang. Sa kauna-unahang pagkataon ay binigyang oportunidad ang lahat ng Pilipino para bumoto sa kanilang paboritong kanta sa pamamagitan ng internet sa abs-cbn.com 
para sa OFW's Choice Award. Ang mga balota sa Star Studio Magazine para sa Youth Choice Award at pagtawag sa WRR 101.9 para sa People's Choice Award. Pinagsama-sama ang lahat ng aspeto ng komunikasyon upang marinig ng lahat, upang lahukan ng lahat, iisa na lang ang kulang. Ang gabi ito, ang selebrasyon ng sampung bagong awit para sa bayaning Pilipino. Ang pagtitipo ng isang bansang sabay-sabay na nakikinig, nag-aalay pugay, nagbibigay inspirasyon sa bayani sa loob ng bawat Pilipino. At yan po ang kwento ng gabing ito. Kwento ng isang paghahandog na pinaghandaan ng buong ABS-CBN ng special projects, ng production, ng radio, ng interactive at ngayon ay kasalukuyang ipinapakita at ipinaparinig din lamang sa buong bansa kundi sa buong mundo sa pamamagitan ng The Filipino Channel o TFC na nakikita sa Hawaii, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Australia, New Zealand at North America. Ngunit hindi kami tumigil doon. Naariyan pa ang webcasting over abs-cbn.com. Ang pag-broadcast sa radyo sa buong Pilipinas sa pamamagitan ng ABS-CBN Radio for Life. 95.5 Lawag, 103.1 Baguio, 94.3 Dagupan, 93.9 Legaspi, at 93.5 Naga sa Luzon. Hindi pa po tapos. 101.5 Bacolod, 91.1 Iloilo, 97.1 Cebu, at 94.3 Tacloban sa Visayas, at 91.9 Cagayan de Oro, 101.1 Davao, 92.7 General Santos, 95.1 Cotabato at 98.7 Zamboanga para sa Mindanao. Kasama na rin syempre ang WRR 101.9 dito po sa Maynila. Kung nasaan ka man, Juan de la Cruz, kung sino ka man, bayaning Pilipino, kami ay nangarap na ikay maabot, mabigyang pugay ng mga himig na alay namin sa iyo ngayong gabi. At ang pangarap ay siyang magwawakas upang magbigay daan sa isang bagong araw para sa iyo, Pilipino. Pilipino, sa iyo ito. Sa iyo ang yaman ng kahapon, ang buhay na ngayon, ang pangako ng bukas. At sa inyong lahat, isang huling himig mula sa isang grupong matatapatan ng kabansagang isang daang porsyentong Pilipino. Noong panahon ng kaguluhan sa Pilipinas, tinuruan nila tayong gumitit, umawit sa gitna ng mga problema, sa gitna ng anumang kaguluhan sa bansa. Ngayon, na panahon ng Abu Sayyaf, ng bombahan, ng paghihirap at pagtaas ng presyo ng gasolina, pakasakaling maturuan nila tayo muli. Sila'y tunay na matatawag nating mga bayani ng musikang Pilipino. At sila'y narito ngayong gabi, buhay na buhay at handang-handa para sa inyo. Mga kaibigan, ang Apo Hiking Society! Kamusta na ba tayong mga Pilipino? Ako ay nagtatanong lang Sa gitna ng kahirapan May nagtataka Saan ba mahahanap ang ating pag-asa? Sa gitna ng problema Nakatawa pa rin Pinagagaan ng aking mga suliranin Ang bayaning Pilipino ay nakikita ko Sa mga ordinaryo maliliit na tao Sino siya? Sino siya? Sino pa nga? Sino nga ba talaga ang ating mga bayani? Ay, nako, magbasa ka ng history books. Ang dami-dami mga bayani, hindi ba? Tumingin ka sa salapi. Nandudon, nakaukit ang kanilang mga itsura. Totoo yan. Pero mga kaibigan, sa mga nakaraang mga dekada, itinuring rin natin mga bayani. Yung mga ating mga kababayan na kailangan pa lumuwas, pumunta sa ibang bayan para magtrabaho, para rin makatulong sa kanilang mga pamilya dito. Pero itong tanong ko, meron tayong mga bayani ngayon, meron pa tayong 1 million na bayani sa EDSA. Oo, Pero totoo bakit yan. ngayon, ganito pa rin tayo? Oo nga, no? Diba? Sa ano dami ng bayani, nahihirapan pa rin tayo. Mamahal kong Pilipinas, 
pakinggan ang awit ko Ako ay pumarito upang purihin kayo Sa ating sipag at syaga Tayo'y makakaahon na titiyak ako Talaga, ang feel ko talaga dapat manggaling dito eh. Diba? Dapat makinig tayo Para sa ating eh. sarili. Palabira! Oh? Magbago na! Bago na dapat! Sawang-sawa na ako sa lumang sistema! Ayaw, hindi pa! Magbago na! Ako sawang-sawa na! Gitna ng Alemanya, pati sa bayan ng Hapon, nakalat tayo kapati, natutung mabuhay sa libunang duit sa hati. Di kayo makahuhun. Ang galing-galing karma natin. Lahi nila pula ko at ni Jose Rizal.
salamat. Mari and Chris, tama ako, di ba? Living legends. Tinan mo naman niya. Of course, yes. Walang kakupas-kupas. Ano ma, eh, hindi halatang 80 years old na sila, no? <laughs> Oh, sumayaw at kumanta, hindi. Ah, sorry, Pops, po. mabuti na napakawalan na natin sila kasi kailangan pa bumalik ni Judge Jim sa kanyang uh, yes. judges' yes. table. I heard kasi they're having a very yes. hard time. That's right. As we expected, no? The competition has been very, very stiff. So the judges are having a very difficult time deciding who will take home the 500,000 peso. You want to say that again? You think I should say it again? Say it one more time. <laughs> who? Five, who yeah. will win? The 500,000 peso grand prize. Ooh. Will it be Mel Villena? Ooh. Mel's not competing. Okay. Mel sorry. Villena. Not competing tonight. Okay. Hindi nakasama, pero we would like to thank him because he is he is our musical director for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mel Villena. Mel. We would also like to thank, of course, uh, the orchestra and our backup singers. The best about, in the country. About. We have them here tonight. Come maraming, on, come maraming on. salamat. Stand up and there be we uh, there recognized. We Where would the show be without our instrumentalists and our singers? Once again, while of course we're waiting for the judge's decision, we would like to thank uh, all the composers who uh, joined tonight. All the talented, genius composers who joined tonight. And of course, yung mga galing na interpreters. Kaya yata wow. nahihirapan yung judges natin right. eh. Talaga namang pinag-iisipan nila mabuti. You know, Pops, what I've been really glad to see all throughout the rehearsals was how each composer supported the other competing yes. composers. Yes. And they would cheer each other on during mm -hmm. rehearsals. Galing, galing ninyo talaga. Maganda. Ako, personally, if I were a judge, I would also have a hard time actually deciding on who the winner is. But you have your favorite, don't you? I have several. See, that's how hard it is. It's, it's not just one choice. It's how about you, Chris? several choices. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really speechless here. I'm having a very hard time. I mean, a lot of really, really good composers, singers. Let's ask our audience. Huh? What Kayo do you think? Ba? Tough time, huh? Yes? Okay. Minus yeah. the composers, huh? Shemper, they'll, say, <laughs> they'll say their names. Actually, Sorry. the whole idea, of course, is songs written for Bayani. Um, I think uh, when they first asked, uh, or when they first introduced the songwriting contest to write songs for Bayanis, the Filipinos had a hard time because they were thinking of our heroes, or our national heroes. But actually, ang Bayani naman po, eh, hindi kailangan yung hero lang po. I'm sure you both or we all have our different heroes in our lives. Chris? I think that a Bayani today would just be something, you know, they set a good example. That's already mm -hmm. one sign of heroism with a person. And I guess everyone does that, right? mm -hmm. That's true. That's you true. don't have to be dead to be a Bayani either, do you? No, not at all. Like the Apo told us, uh, someone who pays his taxes can be a Bayani, right? <laughs> someone who follows the law. When you're it's driving, Apo. Oh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's true. Siyempre, yung mga, yung mga nagtatrabaho ho, talaga with all honesty and the goodness of their heart, who we see uh, in the streets working very hard mm -hmm. late at night, yan po mga Bayani rin yan. Mga, are... Ako, for me, mga ina, truly right. heroes. Right. I, I, I do feel that. And I just agree. to show that we haven't forgotten the OFWs, we have an OFW's Choice Award, no? To keep them, uh, our hard-working domestic overseas foreign workers. That's right, that's right. Feeling halo ko na overseas domestic foreign workers. Okay na Ako po, may dalawang bayani, and I always express uh, my, my gratefulness, if there is such a, if I'm saying it correctly. My two boys, Robin and Ram, for me, they're my heroes. And it's always nice to have a hero, not just one, I guess, several heroes in your lives that you look up to. People, and you who, work blessed in, with. people who work in government that are clean. Hey. Yeah. Ko konti nga sila, pero nandun pa rin. And also, don't forget, there's also the youth. That's why there's also the that's Youth right. Choice Award. Correct. That's right. That's they right. They are the next future. We are the future. You are the future. So uh, we hope that the next generation will be much, much better than the last generation, this generation. And you learn from our mistakes, right? Oh, yes. That's right. We would like to acknowledge uh, the presence of Rafi Alunan, also here joining us tonight. Former DILG Secretary Rafi Alunan, now with Mainila. Are we now all uh, excited to find out who the winners will be? Because I am. 
I'm sure and the are composer we ready? is most of Are all. we ready? I think the Board of Judges has finally made their decision. Maybe we should pull them up here one by one and ask them what they plan to do with the money. <laughs> no, after, after we've announced the winner, we okay. will. Okay. <laughs> okay, Chris? Well, madalas natin sabihin na sila ang kinabukasan, di ba? Ang pag-asa ng bayan. Pero meron bang nagsabi na pwede silang maging bayani ngayon? Kaya may Youth's Choice Award. Award para sa paboritong kanta ng mga kabataang Pilipino. So sa Star Studio Magazine ng ABS-CBN Publishing Incorporation nang galing ang mga balota. At sa kamay ng mga bata, ang desisyon. Kung sila nga ang kinabukasan, ang Youth's Choice Award ang pinili ng kinabukasan ngayon. At ngayon, ito na, the start. Para sa awarding ng Youth's Choice Award na siyang magkakamit ng 200,000 pesos na cash prize. Please welcome Mr. Eli Bondia of the Eraserheads and Ms. Sandy Prieto Romualdez of the Philippine Daily Inquirer. So, um, at tulad ng sinabi natin kanina sa Star Studio Magazine, manggagaling ang mga ballots ng Youth Choice Award. Kaya sa Star Studio Magazine din, natin kukunin ang resulta. Mrs. Romaldus, would you like to do the honors? At ang nanalo ng Youth Choice Award ay ang Super Pinoy. Composed by Junji Marcelo and interpreted by Jolina Magdangal and Quarter to Five. Congratulations. Uy, kap kapamilya ko yan sa ASAP. Ano ba yan si Junji? Uh, easy bata o pusong bata? Pusong bata! <laughs> ano ng youth choice eh? Oo, pusong bata. Congratulations, of course, to composer Junji Marcelo. Youth Choice Award. And of course, the interpreter Jolina Magdangal. Napakarami nila, mga Pilipinong wala sa Pilipinas. Alam natin ang kwento nila, pero alam ba natin ang trip nilang sounds? Kaya isinagawa ng Himig Handog sa Bayaning Pilipino ang OFW's Choice Award, ang kauna-unahang internet voting system sa isang songwriting competition. Sa pamamagitan ng pag-log on sa abs-cbn.com at sa pag ng kanilang mga passport number, ang mga OFW's ng bansa ay nakapili kung alin sa mga sampung finalists ang paborito nilang kanta. Ang OFW's Choice Award. Para sa OFW, mula sa OFW. At ngayon, para mag-present ng OFW's Choice Award na mananalo ng 200,000 peso cash prize, narito si na Ms. Charo santos Concha of ABS-CBN at si Father Nilo Talalega of the Ugat Foundation. At ngayon, narito ang computer kung saan namin kukunin ang nanalong entry mula sa abs-cbn.com, ang official website ng Himig Handog sa Bayaning Pilipino. And the winner is... The OFW's Choice Award goes to Super Pinoy, composed by Junji Marcelo, interpreted by Jolina Magdangal and Quarter to Five. Thank you very much. Two in a row! Congratulations, Junji, Jolina. 
Thank you very much, Ms. Charo Santos Concho and Father Nilo Tananega of the Ugat Foundation. Pops? Just like we said a while ago, if music is power, then tonight we give the power to the people. Thus, the People's Choice Award. With the use of all the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation's AM and FM stations across the country, people place their votes by calling in at their local radio stations. And tonight, their choice will be heard. Here to award the People's Choice Award and its 200,000 pesos cash prize, please welcome Mr. Federico M. Garcia of ABS-CBN and the Honorable Andrea Veneración. As we're waiting for them to come down, we would like to turn you over, this will be live, right, to Martin D. of WRR. I just want to make that clear. 101.9 for the winner of the first ever Himig Handog sa Bayani Pilipino People's Choice Award. Come on on in, Martin. Martin. D? Yes, magandang, yes. magandang. How are you, Pops? Hi. Hello. Kamusta kayo dyan sa Miralco Theater? We are all doing fine and we're having fun. Ako we are dying to hear the winner though, yes. Martin D. Alam mo, tuwan-tuwa ako at uh, nakasama ako dito sa handog or himig handog sa bayaning Pilipino. And sabi nga namin, tumas, uh, inaano namin yung mga callers namin, sinasabi namin, sige na, tumawag kayo at bumoto. At nandito na nga, tapos na. Uh, natabulate na namin lahat at ang winner 200,000 pesos Tandararan! Himig Handog sa Bayaning Pilipino People's Choice Award goes to Larawan composed by Doji Simon interpreted by Anna Feji and his sound Congratulations! Congratulations! dapat kunin ng camera yung mga mga mukha ng mga poster natin. <laughs> Ang awarding natin na ating grand prize winner. Gusto lang namin ipaalala na ang mananalo ng grand prize winner ngayong gabi ay magkakamit ng 500,000 pesos cash prize at siya magiging theme song ng Bayaning Pilipino Awards na itatanghal sa Nobyembre ng taong ito. We would also like to remind all of those of you who have won any of tonight's Choice Awards are not disqualified from winning the grand prize. Wow. So everyone is still in the race, ladies and gentlemen. So now we are about to find out which of tonight's 10 finalists will win the grand prize. For the beautiful design of the trophy for the grand prize winner, we would also like to acknowledge the artistry of Mr. Bobby Castillo. Wag na po natin patatagalin pa ang paghihintay. At ngayon, para i-present ang ating 500,000 peso grand prize, narito na po si Naginong Eugenio Lopez III ng ABS-CBN at ang chairman ng ating board of judges, si Maestro Ryan Gayabiab. I think uh, we are keeping them in suspense. Yes, and so the deliberations are over. Here we have the envelope as validated by the CCP Chorus and Valayo auditing firm. Mr. Lopez, would you like to do the honors? <laughs> Composed by Sock Villanueva, lyrics by Arnel Depano, interpreted by Gary Granada, Sika Bayani. Yes!
Granada. That was really. Oh, it was a hard choice, though, right, Mr. Lopez? The 500,000 peso grand prize, ladies and gentlemen, with the song entitled "Si Kabayani."